Hi, today we're going to learn about shapes and our colors, color wheel. So let me share a screen with you so I can show you some pictures. Ah, where'd it go? There it is. Then let me come up here so we can see the show. Oh my goodness, it started at the spot I didn't want it to. Let me go back to the beginning. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, shapes and color wheel. That is what we're learning today. We're going to talk about our shapes. We're going to talk about how the colors work on a color wheel and why we have a color wheel. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to draw a color wheel and put our colors in order. Um, in, in the back half of the video. So first, we're going to see a circle. This is a circle that goes all the way around. It never stops. Circles can be a lot of things like a wheel or a ball. Those are the most common circles we see. Next is a square. Squares can be boxes. Um, it can be things that we see outside, like um, sometimes we can see trucks that have a box on the back of them. Um, our food comes in boxes a lot, so squares are very useful. Triangles. Triangles are like when we, we see triangles more um, we can see them as road signs sometimes. We can see them like mountains are kind of triangular shaped. Um, I'm looking in my room. In all of my blue chairs that you sit in, there's an upside down triangle in the back of the chair. So you're going to think about where you see shapes in your house when you walk through and think about what all are circles and squares and triangles and hexagons. Hexagons have six sides. Oh, it's a lot. This also looks like a stop sign, and a stop sign is a very important sign indeed. And I just realized, I'm going to go back. If you take this and you make it a little bit longer, kind of like the picture of me over here in this video is shaped like this. This is a rectangle. I forgot to put rectangle in my slides. Now, color wheel. A color wheel is a circle that has pie shapes in them. A pie shape is kind of a triangle shape, but it's also part of the circle. Um, and in it are our colors that we use to make art. This is the very simplest color wheel. And it shows that we have red right here as a primary color. I'm going to skip this one and come over here. Yellow is a primary color, and I'm going to skip and come over here. Blue is a primary color. Primary color, what does that mean? Well, primary means nothing on the whole planet can be mixed together to make a red. It just exists. Blue just exists. Yellow in the sun, it just exists. Um, but we can use these colors to mix together and make other colors. Like red mixed with blue makes purple. Red mixed with yellow makes orange. And blue mixed with yellow makes green. These colors, purple, orange, and green, are called secondary colors. So we've got, um, we, we've covered our shapes and we talked about our shapes and then I showed you a color wheel. So what we're going to do is make a color wheel. And to make a color wheel, it's really simple. You're going to draw a circle. Ta-da! 
And then we're going to divide the circle into pieces. And the reason we're dividing the circle into pieces is so that we have places to put our colors. So the first thing we're going to do is draw an X. Okay. Then we're going to add one more line in the middle over here. And that gets us our basic circle, okay? Then we're going to, oh, before we do that, I want us to write at the bottom what we have here. This is a color wheel. I'm going to tell you about some colors. Um, the word is primary. Primary means first. And the first colors that are the most important colors when it comes to how our color wheel is laid out and how colors are mixed together is red, yellow, and blue. And I can't spell blue. There we go. And what's important about them is that we can mix these colors together to um, to make other colors. Red, yellow, and blue are our primary colors. And so I'm going to put my red box over here so I know what primary means. And all of these colors mix together to make other colors. And we're going to we are going to do this in just a second. Once you get your circle drawn and you've put red, yellow, blue in the color wheel, just like this. Remember, you can stop the video if you need to so you can catch up. So what we're going to do next is color our color wheel. So get your markers, because that's what we need to do this with. And our red is first. And the first thing we're going to do is color in this top space red. And if you turn your marker where it's sideways and not have it on its point, you can color really quickly because you're using more marker tip. You're using the wide side. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm just trying to be neat. So this is where red lives, okay? And I'm gonna write primary red on top of it. The next color we're going to use is yellow. Yellow lives in the space. Um, there's going to be red, skip a space, and the yellow is going to live next. And I'm going to use yellow the same way. I'm just going to go take it, turn it to the side, and try to fill my space as fast as I can on the wide part. And then the next important color is blue. And you may have a slightly darker blue in your marker box. That's okay. So we've got red, yellow, and blue, and I forgot to write my yellow. Hard to see in yellow and blue. Now here's where the fun part comes. I'm gonna take the yellow, and I'm gonna color in two more squares yellow. I'm gonna color on each side. Yellow touches here, yellow touches here. We're going to color that in where it touches. And we're going to color way over here where it touches. So now it looks like half of our circle has gone yellow. Oh my gosh, what does that mean? We need other colors than yellow in here. Well, 
Well, this means we're gonna mix some colors. And we can mix some colors by taking another color and putting it over this one. So if I take red and I put it over this yellow right here, where it's the red, a yellow and a yellow, with this middle spot, this color is gonna change. And it's not gonna be as red as it was. And it's gonna start turning a little bit orange. Now this one turned a little bit, not as orange as I want it to, so I'm gonna come back and put a little more yellow on top. Let's see if I can really get it, some orange going on. And I'm going to write the word. I'm going to get my real orange out of my box. Just so that I know that that is supposed to be orange. And I'm going to write orange. And I might even go over it with my real orange. But if we mix it, you can see it's pretty close when I start filling it in with the orange color over it. It's looking pretty close. Over here, yellow plus blue equals a color that is not yellow. It equals another color. What other color does that one equal? Yellow, excuse me, blue and yellow makes a green color. So blue and yellow make green. Take your blue and go over your yellow here. And we're gonna make it look green. And again, if you need to take your yellow and put a little more yellow back into it, where some of the blue looks bluier, you can do that. So there's my green because yellow and blue make green. So we have one white space left. What do you think red and blue together might make? Take your red and let's fill this in. And so the other color it's touching is blue. So we're going to take our blue and we're going to go over where the red is and it's going to look really dark. But this is supposed to, oops, I got in my red red. Supposed to look purple E because red and blue make purple. And so that's to be purple E. I'm snapping them so you can hear that they're closed. I'm going to get my purple out. There's purple, and I'm going to write purple. And I'm going to go over that little space just a little bit more with some real purple. But, but red and blue makes purple. Red and yellow makes orange. Blue and yellow make green. And that is our lesson today, is how our colors live on a color wheel and um, where they all go. Next time we talk about colors, we're going to talk about um, purple, orange, and green. Those are also, they also have a special name, not primary colors, but a different name. And then the next time we talk about colors, we're going to add some other, some other ideas about colors. But today, this is what we're doing. For Kinder through Second, we're thinking about our colors. We're making our color wheel. Show me your color wheels when you get them mixed and drawn and colored in.